people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave principal I'm your host Shaheen um, while almost all the retail traders are absolutely bullish in gold and silver uh, I'm doing things a bit differently and we're going to look at it a bit uh, we're going to discuss gold and silver and we'll look at some of the miners um, actually we'll try to look at GDX and GDXJ uh, in addition to one miner or maybe another miner, maybe two miners so first of all um, uh, from this bottom we have a clear from this bottom we have a clear fiber structure and we have a correction and in my previous analysis I told you guys that there is a possibility that we are com completing a, uh, a, a triangle in wave 4 within the 5 wave structure that we have for our starting from over here so 5 wave structure followed by a correction another 5 wave structure we are expecting and I think it's very close to the completion and that's where our today's analysis come so I believe that the um, let me let me delete this a bit and or let me move this a bit and maybe I can so I believe that starting from this bottom we have wave 1 and 2 right over here and then wave 3 and wave 4 is a triangle which is wave A, B, C and D and I believe the last leg A which is wave E of the triangle itself is a flat correction which is an A, B and C I'm going to delete that so uh, it makes a bit easier and then I said there is a possibility that, that we are not going to see a strong uh, fifth wave coming out of it and that's why we have seen a struggling uh, price behavior right in this area uh, we are also close to the resistance line which is the center of the uh, parallel channel so I, it looks to me that we are very close to the completion either we have seen a top or we are going to see a top very soon and that will be the end of five wave structure uh, let's delete this the, the channels because we're not using it anymore so right now we are focusing on the max major run and that's bearish I believe that we are going to see a bearish pull and that will be a sharper and it will not going to take a lot of time because we have already done a lot of uh, accumulation in the wave 4 area so although as per the wave structure that we are seeing in front of us we are going to see a structure a pullback but it's not going to be a lot of con uh, time consumed like it's not going to take months and months maybe month and a half maybe uh, but not like five six months uh, or three four months uh, so uh, once that structure is complete uh, we are going to go we, we are going to be in, uh, ready uh, for the next major move in gold uh, so my major analysis indicating that you're expecting the prices to be in the bearish uh, swing that's the main swing that we're expecting in gold let's come back to uh, silver and although I was expecting that okay maybe we're gonna go uh, prices are gonna go all the way on the top and then come down right over here there's still a probability uh, of going there but I think right now there is a possibility and that we are finding resistance uh, in this region right over here so if you look at this we have a kind of a shoulder pattern and price goes all the top and then price comes in at the neckline and then goes the top as, as well so there's a cause quite a possibility that we are seeing a head and shoulder pattern uh, in which we had is quite a bit of messy so keep an eye although from the bottom you're expecting for the prices to jump up quite a bit there is also a possibility that we might have completed the the jump in that case uh, we are expecting for the prices uh, to come a little further uh, lower uh, than uh, we thought so we're going to see another swing on the downside uh, and that will be interesting to see in silver so this swing on the bullish side I think we are very close to the completion of it and right now we are focused on maybe a messy uh, let me delete this and there's a quite a possibility that when prices comes down right over here we're going to see something like this okay and then from this way we can expect the bullish price free behavior so I am right now waiting for a bearish confirmation and we already have seen a bearish day yesterday in this area another day added to the yesterday's day will confirm that we actually have uh, quite possibly we have seen the target of the bottom move going up in that case we are expecting for the prices to form a sharper move downward and then correction and another move on the downside so this is what's going on in silver I'm not expecting for silver to sh carry on I was initially thought that probably you are gonna go all the way up and then prices are gonna go come down quite a possibility still so you need to be really careful okay it, expressions are not easy to identify anyway um, my major is 
point in silver is to wait a bit and then be bearish in silver. Uh, now next thing that comes to uh, is very important and you are going to look at uh, new moon because new moon has jumped quite a bit. Uh, so we look at new moon and uh, before that we can gonna look at GDX and GDXJ. So GDX is itself is uh, showing very interesting uh, price behavior. I believe that we are going to see a pullback uh, and that pullback shall bring the prices back to the lower end of this area which is 32.20. So I'm uh, bearish in uh, for GDX and I'm seeing uh, that the structure that actually started from over here is yet not complete. Once that structure is complete uh, then we'll start seeing the positive um, bullish move that we all have been expect expecting for a while right now. And GDXJ is also similar behavior. We believe that the structure is yet not complete that actually started from over here. We have an A, B, C and A, B, C and then there is quite possibility that you are going to see a zigzag structure. So altogether starting from that top we have a double three structure. This is a flat correction that itself is a flat correction and then we are expecting a zigzag uh, structure. Uh, so pullback is expected I'm expecting for somewhere around 40 each dollar the lower end of the the change uh, right over here. I'm expecting for the prices to come in this area and this is expected to be a zigzag pattern. This is our major swing on uh, GDXJ. Now Newmont has po positioned itself very well. Uh, we have both uh, charts in front of us which is uh, um, uh, uh, NASDAQ, New, New York Stock Exchange and uh, TSX which is Canadian as well, Canadian Stock Exchange. We have both of them in, in front of here. So I believe that the structure that actually once again started from over ABC and then we have a zigzag here instead of a flat correction. We, that structure is yet not complete. We are going to see a pullback. Or we can also look at that this okay maybe the starting from this bottom we have completed a 5 wave structure and then pullback is expected to the previous fourth wave. Both things are expecting. Uh, so I'm expecting a bearish price move in Newmont as well. I myself have some of the stock then I think I'm gonna close that position and then I want a nice sharper move on the backside and then go con go long to or at least take some partial profits. Uh, this is the TSX which is in front of us which is Newmont once again. Uh, it, is, uh, it was trading somewhere around close to $70 and a pullback of about $15 per uh, share is expected in Newmont. Uh, so sharper move is expected. I'm thinking maybe possibly a month and a half. Uh, there is a possibility we can see about a month and a half of it. It can uh, push it to a couple of months um, but we're not expecting four or five months. Uh, I'm just m max it is going to run up to is two months. Um, and that's it in front of us. Now there are some stocks, uh, for example Metalla is, uh, you can see the Metalla, yeah here is Metalla. Metalla is, is, is going through its own structure. We are unaware of it. So if you are, uh, I'm gonna, I have some of my um, options in, um, I mean stocks in, in Metalla. So I'm gonna leave it alone. The reason is because there's, it's quite possibility uh, that Metalla is, uh, as you guys can see, is going through a different cycle, uh, completely different wave structure. So I don't want to miss the sharper move that we have seen in Newmont. Could we see exactly the same behavior in Metalla? And there's possibility that Metalla is lacking way behind. In weeks to come, we'll see. I think that we are gonna see at least a jump upward. And if prices can penetrate this area, then definitely upward move is expected. There's also possibility that price can go up and then can turn back down again as well. So Metella is just wait and see. Uh, let's see how the structure uh, shows up. We'll discuss uh, it in the future. Um, but I think gold and silver are expected to be in a bearish move. Uh, and I see you soon. I'll see you soon after how the market behave. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.